personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. YouTube, welcome back. I'm Everett, and it's Everett by the Way TV. Back with another episode. Topic for today, how to deal with a sleepy client, tips and tricks, the methods that I use that has been working for me up to this point. But you already know, before we get into the video, let me get the HBO special. What's the HBO special? The HBO special is the help a brother out special. That's the let me get a like for the algorithm, comment for the feedback, uh, and let me get a subscribe so you can see more of my content. And let's get into the video. Yo, wake up, man. <laughs> now for me, um, dealing with sleepy clients, uh, the clients that doze off, drop their heads, snore, sometimes even drool in the chair. Uh, it's just something that you want to deal with as a barber, growing pains. Um, you know, you just get used to dealing with it and you get easier and it gets easier for you to deal with as you, uh, you know, as you deal with them often, like everything else experience is key. Um, and consistency is key. Um, what I like to do is I like to always keep one hand on top of the person's head. And to be honest with you guys, it don't really take that much pressure. It's not like you really have to palm. You know, sometimes you see barbers that like palm the top of a person's head like a basketball. You can do that, but it's not even really necessary. Honestly, when uh, when a person is like really, really sleeping, like knocked out, all you gotta do is take this one finger, put the one finger right on top of their head. Some <laughs> I'm like getting really into it. I'll fade and I'll like put my hand on the other side of the head to kind of stop it from tilting over. Because aside from uh, clients falling asleep a lot, you have those clients that like the, I don't know for some reason, it's kind of like they're running away from you. Like the more you fade, they're like, like this for some reason. I don't understand that. Um, so sometimes to prevent that, I just like to take one hand, put it on the other side of the head and hold it there or just take one finger. Really, that's all it, all it takes. Put that on top of the head and keep it in place. What you don't want to do though, is you, uh, is you don't wanna just let the client's head drop, right? Like definitely if it's like a kid or older person, you don't wanna let the kid drop. For, you don't wanna let the head drop. I mean, for one, it's very uncomfortable. Uh, I think that's really, that's probably like poor customer service or some shit, right? Um, it's just not it's just not pleasant. Like how would you feel if you, was in a, if you were in a chair and you fell asleep and a person just lets your head drop? Like it's not funny. Sometimes people do it for shits and giggles, but I don't really think that it's funny. Um, but you wanna be mindful of that. Sometimes we wanna to try to wake the person up, but the best method that I find definitely when it comes to shape ups, like once you get to the point of doing the shape up, I would just say, you know, set your, you know, start off with the shape up, you know, upright and do your best to like kind of set the template for it. But as soon as you can, lean them back in the chair, put the headrest in, let them relax, let them get that Z's in. You get to control the head, set it exactly how you need to. And you could just look over the whole canvas and you get to see everything a lot better. A lot of times, that's what I end up doing anyway, whether they fall asleep or not. But if they fall asleep, that's definitely a good method to try. Laying back in the chair. Now, I know sometimes the idea of dealing with a sleepy client, a client that's not really paying attention, a client who's allowing the head to drop on you can be kind of nervous can be kind of um, intimidating, but with time, experience, uh, practice, and consistency, you will develop the methods over time. And honestly, when I first started off as a barber, it did used to really bother me. That was like kind of something that used to like really irritate me for some reason. Cause I'm like, yo, you're a grown ass man. Why can't you just stay awake? But, but you gotta, one of my sayings is, um, I like to say a little bit of understanding goes a long way. What you gotta understand as a barber is that Although you've been in a barbershop all day, these people have been working all day. They've been out in the world doing all these different things all day. And sometimes we forget that because what we do is kind of so comfortable, to be honest with you, that a lot of people, they doing other jobs and they're running around and you know they get, they get tired. So when they're coming in 
after a long day, a lot of people coming in right after work and they're exhausted and they're tired. And that time them sitting down in a chair and relaxing was probably the first time they got to sit down and relax all day. Uh, and if your chair is comfortable and you are a good barber and you make that client feel comfortable enough to relax that much in your chair, I say take it as a sign of respect instead of disrespect. And with, and with that said, that's the end of this video. And those are my tips and tricks uh, that I've used so far that helped me to succeed. And hopefully those will work for you and help you succeed as well. And to the next video, like, comment, subscribe.